Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, it was a bad idea. Daniel, no way, it's all good. Wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude, you're my brother and that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes. I swear. Uh, stop!
Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. This must be my punishment. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Yay! Stupid reality shows. Clat Stevens' leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. Don't know if we'll ever come back, Chris. Hmm. Miss that little superhero. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her.
this day feels like every other day. This room drives me nuts. Talking to someone would be at least a change. I just want to get out of here. Yo, afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joe. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <sighs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before, you know, before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes, nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Straining too hard? Headache? <sighs> nah. I just can't really focus today. Sorry. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough.
your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey. Sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. He <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I'm innocent until proven guilty, right? And I believe that. That's why I want you to tell me the whole truth. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay, fuck it. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His or yours? Huh? Finn. It was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? He lied. I didn't want to help. But he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear, I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? 
She was against the stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. That's just karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. Oh, she didn't want anything to do with this. I wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Sorry, Finn. Oh. She didn't want any wonder what sorry, Hen. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out, I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. 
Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no Ooh. smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. <sighs> Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. Yay. Stupid reality shows. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Yep. My art is trash now. They kept me locked in for two months. Except for a daily exercise break. You're here just for me. I'm flattered. Hmm. Instructions for getting out of here.
What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait, what's that? Haven Point, Nevada. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape tonight. Okay, time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. I should close these so nobody sees me sleepwalking away. There must be a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. Nada. <sighs> Need a superhero to open that shit. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. 
dead tonight. Works for me. Joey could probably distract the guard dog. Yeah, thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. I wish I could just walk out. They've been working on these rooms forever. So fucking loud. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. Sweet dreams, my friend. Windows are secured, but who knows? You got business in there? Patient called. Just gotta see what our boy needs. Good. I need a smoke break. Hey, that's your job. Go for it. Hey, there's my second favorite patient. <laughs> Gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, you look stressed. Are you feeling okay? No. My fucking eye is killing me. My head hurts. Oh, that's not good. I can get you some painkillers. No, it's just... I need some fresh air. Um, can we take a little walk? Trust me, I love that shit. But your friendly guard would bust us for crashing his smoke break. Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? Yeah, but... Okay, never mind. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Sean, I wish I could help you. I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. Look. It's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just... desperate. Let's forget about this, okay? I'll do anything else I can to help. Now, I really gotta get back to my shift. I'm tired already. Good night, Doc. Oh, jeez. I fucking hate hospitals. T 
too bad this isn't a movie. Oh, can't even fit. Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door and an angry guard. First, don't make any noise. This one isn't screwed in. I could pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. <sighs> Let's do it. you doing in there? <sighs> nice job, Sean. <sighs> now the guard is awake and pissed off. I've been working on these rooms forever. Oh, so fucking loud.
It's dead tonight. Works for me. Maybe I could, uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. so fake, but it might work for a second. Hey, hello? I need help. Please. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My head. It's killing me. I need help. Hold on. You're gonna need help if you're fucking with me. That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here? Finn. Finn. Hey, over here. Holy fucking shit. No way. Sean, what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to bail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I knew you were here. Could have hooked up. Shit. So, where's Daniel? Just learned that he's in Nevada. What the fuck? Why Nevada? I'm on my way to find out, man. Yes, you will, my friend. Damn, I wish I could help you, but I won't get too far. But hey, I brought this on myself. So, are the police on your ass or what? Shit, yes. <laughs> Pigs want me to narc on everybody, like they fucking believe me. So, how bad is it? Your eye. Let's say, I still got one left. John, I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. <sighs> About everything.
Then it's way too late for that. Too easy. Oh, sorry, friend. You lost your eye and your little brother. Whatever. It's over. I don't need any sorry. Ow, that hurts. After everything, I do care about you, Sean. And I'm still sorry. Yeah. It's a sorry fucking world.
guess this is my room for the night. Fuck. Shit. It will never hold until Haven Point. <sighs> what a mess. Flotis can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? Or what? She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Careful. Ah, man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. Okay, Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole his car. Shit. It will never hold until Haven Point. What a mess. Flotis can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Never thought driving would be so exhausting.
Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> Oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> uh, well, not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. It's just... I don't get to see her too much. Kind of miss her. Oh, you're hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah, could that be Dan? Yo? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah. He's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes! It's so cool. Hey, Sean. Don't crash the car. He's driving <sighs> real slow and safe. Like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? Well, sometimes I just miss our home, our family. Now I feel like I'm Going in reverse. I went through the same thing. It's never easy to leave your home. Or family. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh, by the way. Hey, wake up. 
Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Hold on. Good. Now we can see you. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I... drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign? Didn't you see it? I... was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. <sighs> Please. I just want to go. Ho-ho. Uh -huh. What's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Well... I lost my keys, and my friend helped me start it. You mean you hotwired it? Holy cow, fucking car thief, too. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. Brother? Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him. In a stolen car? More lies. <sighs> okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Hey. Let him go. He's got Hold nothing. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay, maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh... What did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Fuck off. This is my country. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> Did you hear that? Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Estrechita, ¿dónde estás? 
me pregunto qué serás en el cielo y en el mar. Un diamante de Jeez, enough. Let the boy finish his song. Go on. Go on. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás. Cuando el sol se ha ido ya. Cuando nada brilla más. Tú nos muestras tu brillar, brillas, brillas sin parar. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto, ¿qué serás? Well, damn, I think you just won Mexican Idol. <laughs> Now pick up all your shit and get the fuck out. Don't ever come back, understand? So the, the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. <sighs> Shit, I need a break. Might be some shade at the next billboard. <sighs> Stop. Can't run for miles in this heat. Yes, shade. Oh, man. Oh, 
My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Don't worry about your feet. Just pace yourself. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you couldn't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. I wonder what's up with Haven Point. Was that? Huh. Well, at least I got company. No way I'm gonna die out here. Just keep on... Hello, fellow traveler. Daniel might dig this. Shit. This place is freaking me out. Whoa! Oh, shit. Better stick to the road. There's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Truckers can't be cops, right? Yeah. Just get ready to run if he's a freak. Who knows why that guy stopped? Maybe I dodged a bullet.
Wow. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. For sure. Claire wouldn't approve gambling. Hope those people are caring Christians. Like our grandparents. You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Why, hello there, young sir. Can I help you? Uh... I think so. Yeah, uh... You here for the service? Uh... Not really. Looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Sure. Uh, of course. Of course. So many new faces are coming to see him these days. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. <sighs> yeah. Very humble. That poor little girl. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. We are in trouble. Wonder if Clarence, they take care of people. Maybe they need it. Amen to that. We are surrounded by false idols. A society run. Nice picture. Wonder if they'll let me in. By greed and technology. Wait. No way. The angel Daniel? Oh, shit. Better clean up first, so I don't scare Daniel. That's better than nothing. I guess. Before the Lord. Speak now. Oh, I feel your Holy Spirit. I want to <sighs> shit. I will draw too much attention. <sighs> Better try upstairs. And sisters. Oh, my brothers and sisters. The world is in trouble. 
Could've been. So I'm not the only one. We hear that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. 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 oh yes, you are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel, a child graced with the power of God. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah? Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God <laughs> saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide be. us from the wilderness praise to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of us. Amen. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, 
There's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any question, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <sighs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our Reverend Mother teaches us classes. Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Aw, oh, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle, and the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. Who is this reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel. You're the living proof. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, Inanna. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's over, Daniel. We just gotta walk on. Does it hurt? No. Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you going to stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But we don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. 
By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Mm, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. God or you? God, of course. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. You've led your brother into killing one of God's innocent creatures, disrupting nature's balance. This is a terrible sin, and until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel! Come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing! Enough! You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved. Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Ben, when you're ready... We can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean! Sean. There you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. 
Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel! Sean? Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're going to have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're going to need to rest and clean that dressing. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Damn, you look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? I know I shouldn't peek, but whatever.
So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long run. <laughs> I guess I... These mountains really inspire me. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. All right, back to reality, dude. At least Daniel's alive. But he huh. seemed... This isn't our tablet. ...different now. Yay! Technology. She came prepared. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. We've come a long, long way, buddy. So fucked up that Karen showed up like that. This country is just way too big.
I really should finish reading this someday. I still can't believe my brother got brainwashed by a cult. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. I have no clue what I want to say to her. Or if I want to say anything at all. Jacob, why the fuck would you bring him here? I can get Daniel back on my own. We've come a long, long buddy. I 
At least Daniel's alive. But he seemed different now. So fucked up that Karen showed up like that. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. Jeez, it only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. I really should finish someday. Hello? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? <sighs> yeah. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey. Sorry it took so long. Fucking store was packed. How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long?
We just got lucky. And got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. <sighs> All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. <sighs> For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I know you are, Karen. That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. Sure. I don't think you would. I need some air. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens.
So, what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Asked my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world. With like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Mm. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. 
I know. Only thing I have left of his. No, oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend Lila. Smoking on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel.
sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things. I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Oh, so you took my brother and my money. Better me than the cops, don't you think? You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Ugh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. What's wrong with Sarah Lee? We just, we need to find her medical record. 
I think it's in our home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Karen, everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. The view is kind of great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. 
Hey, Sean, we can't go in there now. Elizabeth's house is over there. <sighs> right. Sorry. Hello, young Hackerman. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. We're just... You know you're not supposed to wander around the church once the service is over, right? Right, I, I'm sorry, but we, we were just... Uh... Oh, uh, I'm sorry. This is my first time at your church, so... He was just showing me around. It's always a pleasure to welcome new members. How come I didn't see you at the service, though? I know, I know. We, we were late, so we just uh, watched from upstairs. Come on, you don't have to lie. Everybody knows you hate attending services. Uh, well... Uh... Listen, don't hang around here for too long, okay? I'll talk with your father later. Sure. See you. Jeez, what's up with her? She doesn't seem to like you very much. That's because I left the church. She's not the only one that's pissed at me. Sorry to hear that. Okay, I just, I hope they're not onto us. Let's haul ass. Where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's just so full of memories and stuff. Must be a way to break it. The moat and the bean. And I thought Claire and Steven were old fashioned. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Hmm. 
Nothing here. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got this letter before Jake. Don't see anything of interest. Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Nice prison view, dude. Might be enough to open that door. Uh, Sean, hey, you, you think that's a good idea? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's... Insane. Look, she has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... <sighs> wanted to cure you from... Being... <sighs> Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <sighs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Didn't you... tell your parents? <laughs> you kidding? <sighs> they wanted her to do that. Mom and Dad thought I had a demon inside. So did I. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. And, uh, how did that go? Not good. I just prayed all the time and stopped hanging out with boys, girls. Everybody. I got depressed. Paranoid. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I don't really get her, Sean. But Lisbeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him.
Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works with Elizabeth. A woman just spoke with him. Now he's coming your way. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Trust me. Hey, I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Finds us here, we're screwed. What the? Hello? Is someone there? What are you doing here, punk? Huh? Stop! Let him go, Nicholas! You're trespassing too, you little fag. You were always trouble. I'll deal with you later. Now come with me, you shithead. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. Speak to me. <clears throat> Reverend! Sean, what's going on? Reverend, he was going through your stuff in your office. Jacob let him in, but I took care of that Judas. Oh, Sean, little lost lamb. How could you desecrate holy lamb? Sean! You okay? Huh? Yeah, don't worry. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No! I'm not going anywhere! She's full of shit, dude! And she's using you! Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never! So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary, right now. Not without my brother. Didn't you hear the Reverend? Nicholas! Sean is just confused. We forgive the sinners. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. 
You're just manipulating him, you sicko. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast Him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been His mother once, but when you abandoned Him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel. She's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. But you gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family, and we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Ah! Holy shit. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sara Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. I know she went to see doctors for herself when she was in pain. She never waited for a miracle when she was in danger. What? Is that... Is that true? Reverend Mother? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. This, this is a toxic community. She's cutting everyone from the world, keeping things secret. She wants to keep you to herself. It's better like that. At least I'm not hurting anyone anymore out here. You found your home here, Daniel. Don't let him trick you. I found a letter from Karen, her mother, inside her house. She hid it from you, so you never know she's looking for you. What? You 
told me she didn't want to see me. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop. <sighs> came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- uh, Sean! He must learn. Listen, I know I wasn't a great brother. I was an asshole. I took you for granted. Put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Sure. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't uh, hit him. Uh, Don't let them do that, Daniel. If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. He always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. What are you doing? You're gonna kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing, nothing is going to stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know uh, Please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him alone! Daniel, listen to him! I won't stop! No matter what she does! I'll come right back! Again! And again! I do too. She'd shut him up now. Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it. Shoot. Don't. Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive.
open the door and then. Daniel, all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore.
And this is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? Yeah. I think. Thank you.